Good morning, it's Park Grande and we are here the Stormont Estate for Stormont Park Run. Oh, I just pick up my bag and we will head to the start. Parked in the Overflow car park, about a five minute walk to the start. Let's head there now. We've come out at the Mo Molan Play Park. So I think we run past this on Park Run. It is a playground that's designed for all children to play together. So they've got things like um, wheelchair swings, things like that. So it's a fully inclusive and it looks epic actually. Oh no, is the slide closed? Maybe one of the slides is closed. Um, but yeah, still looks epic. I think we'll have a play on there before we head back to the van. We're just approaching the finish now. The finish is at the barrier on the main straight here. Um, the NHS was 75, celebrated its 75th birthday this week. So today at all park runs, of course we always have a park run practice um, partnership, but um, yeah, today park runs all over the country are celebrating 75 years of our wonderful NHS. So might be more people than usual in blue, just to, um, yeah, just to celebrate. There's some TV cameras here. Not sure why the TV cameras are here. Makes my little camera look a little bit small. <laughs> Got camera envy. Couldn't run with those ones though. Stormont Park Run is an iconic park run because you start here and you have this incredible view of the Parliament building. Look at that for a start finish straight. Pretty amazing. There's lots of flags out as well about organ donation. So yeah, let's promote all things NHS. Let's give blood, let's be organ donors. First time as welcome happening here. We've got a map, I wonder if I can see the map. Now you're turning it into the lake. There to your left, where my dog is. A lot of this has changed now because it's taken down a whole lot of these trees. You know, it doesn't look exactly the same, but you'll recognise the trees you've got. You run along through here, over this wee rise. We come to this gate in the corner here, at the what we call the wheel field up in here. You turn back along there, that's the field along there. And again, a lot of these trees are all gone, so it's all clear now. Over here now, these trees are going to see the toilet box sitting. It's very, very windy, so they've got lots of bunting there trying to tie up. And celebrating 75 years of the NHS, that's just hiding there. And the team just doing the last few little bits before we get going. What a view. Three minutes to the run brief. So just enjoying the atmosphere. Today. Happy birthday, Jimmy! I think he'll be out on course marshalling, so we'll have to say happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so, so important. Amazing, thank you. Uh, we must remember to say happy birthday to Jimmy as we go round. Um, a really important message there about organ donation. I thought it was opt out now so that we were all organ donors unless we opted out. But they're saying make sure you have signed up. So I'm going to have to check that out. I am a registered organ donor, but um, yeah, I thought we could sort of not stop spreading the message. It's important to let your loved ones know your decision that you definitely want to be an organ donor so that they can be super proactive. But yeah, I thought it was that you had to opt out these days. I'm going to check that out. 
Everybody walking down here towards the Parliament building, ready for our park run start. And what a message that some recipients of kidneys are here running today because they've been given the gift of life, which, wow. Um, I got goose pimples when they were saying that. The Parliament building in the background, and we're running up, up here towards the finish. So we're just waiting for the last few people to get in place and then that's our start. It's a two lap course and uh, yeah just waiting for the off. And off we go, lots of people running in scrubs. <laughs> Look at the sea of blue, lots and lots of blue today celebrating the NHS. Loving all of the scrubs. That's quite a good shout. Scrubs on top, leggings and shorts on the bottom. Stormont Park Run, off we go. <laughs> what an event. Loving the sea of blue, loving the NHS. Loving running here, what a place. And I'm so pleased it's a two lapper. Then we can make sure we do see and enjoy everything. Thank you so much, happy birthday! <laughs> Wonderful volunteers. Oh, volunteering on Parkrun on your birthday is a pretty good way to celebrate. Oh wow, that's the front of Park Run. Coming back already. Gosh. Right, we're heading this way into the trees oh and it says outdoor gym there maybe on the next lap we'll um, have a peek in there oh the light and the feel already of being in a forest it's just special wow they've got permanent park run sign so this is the 3k marker on lap two and just catch up that pop ups as we head up here to the marshal Oh, there's another park run sign. I will turn left. I'm going to come and be excited about your sign. Thank you, Marshall. Look at that. Look at all these permanent park run signs. Absolutely loving that. And heading off to the left. Thank you. Pops is in the wars. So I'm um, going to have a walk. But I don't mind because look, so many cool things to see. Make a wish with some beautiful owls. Are you going to wish? You could wish, I wish my foot or leg was better. I oh, I haven't seen. Oh. <laughs> super, super, super cute. I've been so busy trying to plan our van trip that I haven't even really spent the usual amount of time that I would checking out the course. So yeah, all I know is it's a two-lapper, so it's a lovely surprise to be coming through the woods. Oh, there's spells. Look at this, there's a book of wishes. Whee! A book of myths. Whee! And a book of spells. Do they open? Oh my gosh, they open. They open. <laughs> that is brilliant. During World War II, many bombs and landmines were dropped on Belfast and other areas, particularly in mid-April, the 4th and 5th of May. The, and the 4th, 5th of May, 1941. This crater was not filled in after the Blitz. Wow. Uh, I think the tailwalkers have just walked past us. So we need to get back in Park Run because that's not meant to happen. <laughs> Lap one. Here we go. Um, <laughs> we've got very keen tailwalkers today. <laughs> They're overtaking the Park Walker. Here we go. Stay with Pops. Front three passing us there. All in blue, that is nice to see. So this was the way we walked from the car park. So I'm gonna be heading past the playground. Look at these beautiful flowers. Absolutely stunning. Well Thank you so much, well Marshall. Thank you. And heading next to the playground as these speedy ones overtake us. Yeah. Well run. 
Thank you, Marshall. A little downhill here. Yeah, should we jog down? Oh, Poppy's jogging down on the on the grass. Oh, I've got a bug in my eye. No. Thank you, Marshall. Oh, out to the cricket pitch. Oh wow, and then there's football pitches ahead. No, it's not a school. <laughs> well done. Bobby just said if it was a school, I'd be so jealous. Yeah, these are good facilities, although I know schools with facilities like this and more. Hmm. Um, actually, I think once Poppy's at high school, she'll be like, wow. Just passing the 4K point on lap two. So the runners passing us, they've just got one kilometre to go. And we've just clocked a mile. Part of van life, I'm trying not to use many products, obviously still using deodorant and things, otherwise I don't think I'd be happy park runners behind me, but struggling with the hair today, not using hair products is difficult. Uh, it's annoying me. It's a bit too windy for that. <laughs> Whoa, the people in scrubs are looking very, very, very hot. Full scrubs, not ideal to run in. Just running next to the bull field and that's where dogs can exercise off lead so great to have that area important for dogs to have a lovely run around and we're coming up to dun 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 two kilometers hooray really enjoying this sort of more open area as well oh these toilets there you go you go past the toilets on park ground that's always handy always makes me think of park running pregnant with this one uh, it was always good to have toilets didn't normally need it but when somebody's bouncing on your bladder it's nice to have a toilet there <laughs> Just for reassurance <laughs> lucky for us dave the dog is slower than we are yay so we've built up a tiny buffer because Poppy wants to go and open those books on the second woodland lap. But myths and wishes need opening apparently. So we'll go and do that if we've got time. Otherwise we're just going to investigate after park run. It's awesome watching all these people heading into the finish as we start our second lap. Look at them go. Sort of has that big event feel just because it's such a, an incredible finish straight. This bit just feels just epic <laughs> look at that for a finish heading in cannot wait until that's us tell you what that girl is definitely gonna gonna leave me for her sprint finish for sure oh lots of people walking in front of us <laughs> I think they're not realizing there's still people coming through Oh, it's windy! <laughs> it's so windy! It's quite nice when you're hot, isn't it, Pops? So everybody's celebrating their amazing runs and our amazing NHS here at the finish. Heading into the woods for the second time. Just having a quick look. Look at those amazing facilities at the outdoor gym. Loving that. Let's go and stay with Pops. There's a man using the gym, don't want to feel like I'm filming him doing his workout. Feels slightly awkward. Yeah, that looks amazing. There's some beautiful wooden animal sculptures here in the woods. Look at these. Oh, Poppy's saying I need to come and do the wish. Oh, it's amazing here. We're at three kilometers. Only two to go. She's doing it. She's got a hurt leg. But she's doing it. Super proud of this girl this morning. Thank you so much. Although Poppy said it's not her cut foot that's hurting her. It's like a weird bruise on your leg. But there's no bruise. But there's no bruise you can see. But you've just got a hurty leg. That's fine. Take it at your own pace. What can I see? Hmm. There's a troll there. <laughs> Did you know trolls have extremely sharp teeth? Well, I'm not sure that's very reassuring on my park run. <laughs> You see, if you just ran park run, you'd miss all of those sculptures. So if you are coming here to run, 
definitely I would recommend walking back through these woods and exploring all of this especially if you've got kids with you because it's so cool all right we're at the books Poppy's opening the books <laughs> that was Poppy's one aim for the park run to get to this point with enough time to open the books park clean up litter picking yes we love litter picking at park run what's the next one so that was myths and wishes the spell was ice fly oh it's gone you'll have to wish whatever you like and yet yeah, the spells was i spy yeah, and look dave the dog has caught us up <laughs> so, poppy is in a race with dave i think now <laughs> stormont estate people still at the end there we'll celebrate in water station out of action again poppy there's another water fountain there oh, she's enjoying the flowers and encouraging dave um, yeah, so water fountains. This is the first park run in the UK that I've done. I'm sure there's others with water fountains en route. If they were working, that would be so cool because when we've been abroad, we've been so jealous of the water fountains. Just approaching the playground, there's a wooden throne there in the woods. And try not to pan too quickly, make you sick. There's some people over there. Hmm. They look like wizards. <laughs> they look like wizards. And beautiful flowers and then the playground, which Poppy, are we definitely going to the playground? Yeah. Definitely going to the playground after park run. Put the cricket pitch again, but this time there's people playing cricket, there's people playing football and there's us guys park running, which is just awesome. It's so nice to see facilities being used. Really loving this space. What a great park run. You've got that iconic start finish straight with the parliament building just it's sort of although it's a long way away i want to say it towers over you it's just you can feel its presence if that makes sense and um yeah then like the woodland part really calm serene but has all the bits for kids and the incredible playground all these sports pitches the open meadow bit what does this park run not have all oh, that ball moment jump there <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just need to check out the cafe. Final corner. This is the finish straight. Oh my goodness, there is something just really special about being on this straight with that building behind. Look at these amazing park run colours. Wow. Coming up to the finish now. What's going to happen? What do you want? What do you want to happen? You want to beat me, but you want to walk. Oh, Poppy, I can deal with that. Go on then. <laughs> Poppy just went, I was never going to walk. And then sprinted out. She's such a cheeky one. Thank you so much, guys. Ah, oh, there we go. Dormant Park Run. Look, look at that cheeky girl. Whoa, the wind has picked up. Thank you so much, Tokens. 278, thank you. Right, shall we scan? 278, let's get scanned. Thank you so much, scanner. There you go. Just uh, away. <laughs> safely in the chocolate tub. The dream team, hooray. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Just outside the gates, the team put their coffee order in on the phone i don't know if it was an app actually or just uh, phone it through so we're heading for coffee with the team cannot wait to chat fantastic park run incredible gates behind us water feel definitely one to add to the list so let's go for coffee with these guys poppy has ordered french toast with banana and strawberries and it's just arrived and <laughs> i think she's a bit excited and um, yeah lots of blue at the cafe stormont mugs just down the road so we're on the same road as park run just a bit further along do you know what i've just heard i've just stopped my garmin four miles <laughs> whoops leaving the cafe now we are the last park faffing as always empty chairs now hot chocolates have been drunk returning to the park to carry on exploring we're in the play park and Poppy has challenged me to a race on the zip wire, but she said, I'm going the fun way. 
Best of three, okay, bring it on. Park run might not be a race, but the zip wires, Poppy's going down. <laughs> right, we're getting ready to race. Any final words before I beat you? I get a run up. You get a run up? Hmm. I go on one and you run go. So, oh, what? So three, two, one, and then you go and then go. Deal. Feel like that might make me lose. Ready? Three, two, one, go! She's already gone. Oh! Mine's only touching the floor. No! It was close, but I lost. Hmm. In the interest of fairness, we have swapped for the second. Best of three. Ready? Go! She's already gone, she's already gone. She's not, no, that was, she's now, she's nearly at the end. <laughs> I lost, best of three. Hmm, never mind. <laughs> we can definitely report that the playground is worth a visit. <laughs> we cannot leave Stormont before walking up this hill on the Prince of Wales Avenue, the start finish straight, all the way up to the Parliament Building, to the statue of Lord Carson. And having a proper look, Poppy's opted to play on the playground and chill in the van. And uh, this hill is a bit bigger than it looks. <laughs> Apparently it's exactly a mile from the entrance gates behind me, Parkrun's finish line, to the Parliament Building, just behind me there. So, an exact mile, you could do some good hill repeats, Kenyan hills or something. On this hill here, it's perfect for it. What a stunning day to visit here. I think it would be absolutely criminal to come to Stormont Park Run and not come up and see the incredible buildings. It's actually quite quiet today, I think because it's so, so, so hot. But there is something really special about running around the Northern Ireland Assembly. It feels like a real privilege to spend time here in these amazing grounds. And I'm just loving walking here and it being traffic free. Oh wow, the view looking back that way is spectacular. Well, if that isn't the very definition of an imposing building, then I don't know what is. And I've remembered what they said, it's an exact mile from the steps. So from the steps here, just where this gate is, turn you around, down to the gates, down there, an exact mile. So there we go, if you want to do a, a park run warm up, you can run from the entrance all the way up here and back, get a couple of miles in before park run. I think that's it from me from today, from Stormont Park Run, from the stunning Parliament buildings behind me, from the Prince of Wales Avenue. Huge thanks to Anne and her wonderful team. They were so welcoming this morning. Happy birthday to Jimmy, an absolute pleasure to meet him and the whole of the team. She really, really enjoyed our morning with you guys. This was really definitely up there on my list to visit. It's about eight years old, is it 2015? August, this park run started. I think about 250 runners each week, a few more than that today. But um, it's the school holidays here in Ireland already. So they get all of July and all of August off. So a bit longer than us in England, but um, yeah. Wow, we have loved it. So I think for us it is off to, well I'll reclaim Poppy from the Momolan Play Park and head off to the van. I think we're going to go and visit Loch Ney. So Loch Ney is the UK's largest loch by surface area. Um, loch Ness has a larger volume but by surface area, yeah, UK's largest loch and in my ignorance didn't really even know it existed. So. Definitely think we need to head over there and check it out. 
Anyway, I'm just trying to think, is there anything I haven't told you about Stormont Park Run? I do think they just add it to your list of park runs to visit. So huge thanks for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it, all of the usual things. Give it a like if you have. Subscribe for more running adventures and or a van tour of Ireland. <laughs> So uh, the plan is about 12 park runs in Ireland. So run number one checked off today and what a park run it was. Off to Portrush Park Run for next week. Park run along the beach. I think we can do it barefoot. So I think that will be our first barefoot park run, 100% on sand. And I hear that we are hoping for the tide to be out. With the tide in, we get the soft sand at the top. So we want the tide out and a nice easy run, but it will be what it will be. So I'll stop waffling, I will say goodbye. I need to go and get some sleep. We were on the edge of um, Strangford Lock last night and oh, I was really worried about the sea rising. There was quite a high tide at 3.27 in the morning, so I spent quite a lot of the night awake. So yeah, off to bed for me, an afternoon nap. Anyway, thanks guys, take care and happy running.